Friends, on YouTube, you will find a lot of videos in which it is told that just connect capacitor with the power supply to your home. On connecting, electricity bill of your home will be reduced. So is this possible that on connecting capacitor, electricity bill will be reduced? Explaining this, I made a video on YouTube and video is watched by more than 3 lakh people. After watching that video, a lot of people commented that this video of yours is truly fake. Some people commented that what must be the value of capacitor. Apart from these, I received a lot of comments capacitor used for our home, how much will be the value of this? And this video of mine is fake or real? Look friends, whatever I explained in that video is actually true. Like I explained in that video, if you connect capacitor, then in this condition capacitor you connected is not going to reduce electricity bill of your home. But as you know, capacitor is used for correction of power factor. In that, I also told that if power factor is low in your home, then you have to pay penalty. And if power factor is correct, then in this condition you won't have to pay any penalty. So if power factor is low of your home and you are paying penalty for this, then in this condition, by connecting capacitor in your home, you can save the electricity bill by correcting power factor. Now friends, a question may arise in your mind, how we are going to know that power factor of our home is correct or not. To find this, simply you have to connect power factor meter in your home. After connecting power factor meter, if you see that power factor is less than 0.9, then in this condition, you need to improve the power factor. If power factor of your home is 0.9 or 1, then in this condition, there is no need to improve or correct power factor. Now question is, if power factor of your home is low, then capacitor of how much value we need to connect so that power factor of our home becomes correct? I mean it will become 1 or 0.99. So how much will be the value of capacitor for our home before this, I want to tell you one more thing that capacitor improves the lagging power factor. See, the power factor is of three types. First is unity power factor, second is lagging power factor and third is leading power factor. So in total, power factor is of three types. And if power factor of your home is unity, I mean it is 1 or 0 0.99, then in this condition, there is no need to connect any capacitor. After this, if power factor of your home is lagging, then in this condition, by connecting capacitor, we can improve power factor. Besides, if power factor of your home is leading, then in this condition, you don't have to connect any capacitor. If power factor of your home is leading and in this condition you connect capacitor, then power factor become even worse than before. And due to disturbed power factor, in circuit of your home, high current starts flowing. Like suppose there is a bulb in which 1 ampere current is flowing. Power factor of this circuit is 0.8 right now. But it is in leading power factor. Now if you connect capacitor with this, then in this condition, in your circuit, value of capacitance increases. I mean value of capacitive load increases, which results in decrease in value of power factor. And in your circuit, 1 ampere current which was flowing, in place of that, 1.5 2 ampere, 3 ampere, in this way current increases. So you have to see capacitor we use, capacitor only improves lagging power factor. It does not improve leading power factor. Power factor of your home is in lagging or leading. To know this, you can use power factor meter. From your meter, you will be able to know whether power factor is in lagging or leading. Now if you want to find value of capacitor, then you must know three things. First of all, you must know that what is the total load of your home. For example, suppose in our home, 1500 watt load is connected. That is 1.5 kilowatt load is connected. Second is power factor of our home is how much. Suppose for now, let us assume power factor of our home is 0.82. It means lagging power factor is there right now, whose value is 0.82. I am now denoting power factor of our home by cos theta. After this, in our home, how much we need to improve power factor, that also we should know. Suppose right now we want power factor of our home to be 0.99. I am considering this value as cos theta 2. Now this theta here, we have to find out value of this. To find this, what we have to do, whatever is written here, simply write over here. It is written cos theta 1 equals to 0.82. 
so I return this here. Now if we want to find value of theta 1, then for this, what we can do is, we can bring this cos to this side. So equation will become like this. If we solve this equation, then after solving, answer will come as theta 1 equals to 34.91. So we found the value of this theta 1. Now second value here, let's find out this also. We will solve this in same way and answer will come as theta 2 equals to 8.10. So what is the value of theta here? We found this. Now we have to find out what must be the value of capacitor. Capacitor you are going to use for correction of power factor, that value of capacitor will be in KVAR. So right now we are going to find out value in KVAR only. To find out value in KVAR, you have to use this formula. In this formula here, you can see KVAR equals to kilowatt. In place of this kilowatt, load of your home, you have to mention this load here. So in place of kilowatt, I written 1.5, write tan as it is and in place of theta 1, write this value and in place of theta 2, write this value. After finding values of tan here, answer will come as 0 0.69 minus 0 0.14 and if we solve this whole equation, then answer will come like this and after solving this also, answer will come as 0 0.82. It means capacitor which is going to be used for our home value of that capacitor will be in KVR that is 0 0.82. Friends to improve the power factor of our home, capacitor which is going to be used, value of that capacitor in KVAR I given to you. Well if you ever noticed that with ceiling fan of our home, capacitor which is connected, value of that capacitor is in microfarad. So if you want, you can convert KVAR value into microfarad also. But there is no need to convert KVAR into microfarad. Simply when you go to market and in the market you buy capacitor which is used to improve power factor then value of that capacitor is always in KVAR. If you want to convert value of capacitor into microfarad then for this you have to use this formula. And besides you must also know what is value of KVAR, what is the frequency of load connected at home and what is the operating voltage in your home. Besides in this formula what is the meaning of these symbols I mentioned here? I told you about what is KVAR. C means value of capacitor in microfarad. F in the formula here means frequency. V means voltage and value of pi here is 3.14. So after putting the values in this formula, KVAR will be converted into microfarad. I am showing you a chart here. In this, it is told how much value of KVAR is there in microfarad. Previously, value of KVAR we got was 0.82. It means even less than 1 KVAR. If you have value 1 KVAR and if you want to convert it into microfarad and that also for 240 volt, 50 hertz frequency, then value in this condition will be 55.26 microfarad. It means 1 KVAR equals to 55.26 microfarad. We are talking for 240 volt, 50 hertz frequency. If frequency here is something else, then value will be different. Value of capacitor will change according to frequency and voltage. How much voltage, how much frequency is there, you have to keep in mind. Right now capacitor we needed for our home, value of that capacitor must be 0.82 KVAR. I mean less than 1 KVAR. For now we can assume load of our home which was 1500 watt, power factor of this 1500 watt that is 0.82 to improve this power factor to 0.99, we need at least 40 microfarad capacitor. So you understood capacitor we want to use, what must be the value of that capacitor and how to find value of capacitor. Now question arises here is, for ceiling fan of our home, capacitor which we use, can we use this capacitor to improve power factor of our home or not? Answer is ceiling fan capacitor we have this capacitor is not designed in a manner that we can use this capacitor to improve power factor. Although if you connect this capacitor also, power factor may get improved but it may be possible that this capacitor may get blast because this capacitor is not designed like that so that it can be used continuously with heavy load for improving power factor. To improve the power factor, you have to buy this type of capacitor. This one is normal capacitor and this one is known as power capacitor. This picture I am showing you is of three phase capacitor. 
if you look towards the value of capacitor here it is written 3 into 27.4 microfarad it means this capacitor here value of this capacitor is 27.4 per capacitor it means inside this capacitor three capacitors of 27.4 microfarad are connected this is three phase one so three different capacitors are connected besides above here on capacitor you can see value in kvar is also written on 50 hertz frequency and this voltage how much kvar will be there this whole detail is given here friends if you want to learn step by step proper connection of ceiling fan with capacitor then click on the right hand side video to watch so i hope you like this video if you like this video please do like comment and share on my video if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe thanks for watching this video